Should I push you? Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> we have completely taken over John's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Not just his kitchen, his whole house. Film stuff everywhere. <laughs> Whatever's going on down here. Massive charging. Oh. That's a pretty nifty machine. Look at that. I found it second hand on eBay. Mm. Is it one where you put the beans and put yes. everything in? Oh. You just put the beans in and it runs it. Right, so it's a proper, it makes a proper coffee then? Yeah. Oh. What are you uh, making there, John? Uh, cheese and Marmite sandwiches. No way. Are those for us? Industrial Marmite. No way. <laughs> where do you even get a Marmite that big? Costco. Costco! Whoa. Yes, lunch is sorted. <laughs> Even managed to get a wash in, hey? I'm a little bit afraid to smell the socks. Okay, let me see. Should I? To do that? <laughs> no, they've come out really well. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've come out well. Everything is finally clean for the first time. How close can you get your foot to the ground? Can you touch the ground? <laughs> There's a place for you on the back. <laughs> Suits you. Maybe in a few years, eh? Hey? Yeah. Off we go. Round the world again. <laughs> Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 29. It's not day 29. <laughs> it is day 20... 21? Is it day 21? It is day 21 on the Trans Euro Trail, riding all the way through England and Wales off road to reach the border to Scotland. And we are here in the little village of Burley in Wharfdale, staying with our friend John, who's just gone inside. John! There he is, staying with our friend John. And the forecast this morning was supposed to be rain, but I don't know what's going on here, but. This is a sign, it's gonna be a good ride today. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and we are gonna be picking back up the trail around here and heading into the county of Lancashire, heading into the Lancashire Moors and the Forest of Boland National Landscape before looping back round and heading towards the most northerly reaches of England on the next page of the map. Look, there's a little bell on the bottom. What is this little bell for? Well, a friend gave it me, and the theory is that it's a, a troll that protects you from the evil spirits of riding yeah. uh, to stop you falling off. And if you lose it, as I did the previous one on my previous bike, the, uh, the theory is that the troll fell off to save me. So um, I could have had an accident, but, but having the troll there, and the troll sacrificed itself for me. Does it just work for Triumph bikes? Or can we get, <laughs> or can I get uh, one for ours? I suspect you can get them for yours, yeah. Sweetheart, we need trolls. I think we need like 20 trolls. We should have bought a box of trolls at the beginning of this trip, <laughs> and then maybe we would have fallen off a bit less. Look, everybody's getting ready for a good ride out. Yes. So John is going first, then it's Ollie, and then it's me. Listen to that sound. So yeah, we are all ready and set up to go. It's already 9.45 and we have a long way to go. So better hit the trails, let's go. Yeah, I had a super comfortable night sleeping in Katie's bed. <laughs> Katie is John's daughter. It was such a nice change to the tent just to have a warm bed. I feel very refreshed. Thank you so much, John, for accommodating us. I really appreciate trail angels like John taking care of us. It was awesome. So as we head back to the trail, John has decided to take us up his local moor, which is called Burley Moor, that we're heading up now. From this side of the moor, it's called Burley Moor. But as you go over to the other side, the same moor is actually called Ilkley Moor because there's the town of Ilkley on the other side. And it's really interesting because mountain biking is only allowed on the Ilkley side of the moor. So I guess the landowner on this side of the moor decided, oh no, I don't want any mountain bikes on my side. So you can only ride mountain bikes on the other side. Up here on the left, are uh, what's known as the cow and calf columns. And this is a pretty famous site in the Yorkshire Dales. And I mean, look, looks spectacular. 
That's a good place for an Instagram photo, that is. And then below us, we've got the town of Ilkley. And all of these villages and towns are following the Wharf River, the River Wharf. And the valley is called Wharfdale. Oh, it's a 20 zone. Eww. John told us in this area, the council did like a vote, a referendum to say, do you want speed bumps? And all the local people voted, no, we don't want them. And the council decided to put speed bumps in anyway. So we're now entering the Forest of Boland National Landscape which is quite a funny name because there doesn't actually seem to be much forest here to be honest. I mean there are trees around but in general it looks quite like most of the other moorland around the area. We're heading in this direction to pick back up the trail just before a big off-road section called the Salter Fell Road, which starts just north of the village of Sladeburn, where we're heading now. It's a pretty famous stretch of off-road in this area because it runs for something like five miles. I don't know, it's hard to tell on the map, but at least five miles, if not more, up and over this moorland area in front of us. Pretty much as remote and wild as you can get here in England. So we're just a couple of minutes from there now, and then we can get some off-road riding in. There we go. This is pretty much the start of the Salter Fell Road. We've just passed the gate, leaving the main road behind, and from this point only, cars are not allowed. <laughs> Get out! But this looks like a pretty good start. So I don't know, we'll see how, how off-road this gets. Before we start, I'm just having some leftover Greg's pepperoni pizza. <laughs> oh! My one really well caught. Well, pretty cold. A normal summer's day in the north of England. We just had a little bit of a shower coming down, which I hope isn't gonna go continuing for the rest of the day. Anyway, we're gonna try and press on and see how we get on. And uh, John has turned his Triumph Tiger Rally Pro into off-road mode. So let's give it a go, hey? Yeah. <sighs> let's go. Yeah. Oh, another gate. Wouldn't be England without the gates. I think they've locked that part, so you have to go through here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. Got some landscapes coming up ahead already. Wow. Maybe should I push? Oh, yeah, his, his tires is like. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> oh, it's like very, very slippery for John here. You know what? I might go here on the side actually. <laughs> or just go on the side here. <laughs> on the grass. 
sweetheart. You should have gone on the bloody stones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. No, seriously, I was like happily like going along the grass here. Then I was like, how can I get out of here? And it got like more complicated. And after you'd helped me get here. Yeah. <laughs> For you, the tire was just like spinning like crazy, yeah, now. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going on the stones. I'm going on the sides. Three, two, one, go. Sweetheart, you got yourself right on the top of the hill there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what, like, I was like, where should I go next? I was running out of rut, you know? Thank you for rescuing me. Oh, yes. We are up in the moorlands now. Look at this. We are so pretty around here, so pretty. And I must say as well, John, you are very, very brave because John told us that he hasn't done a lot of off-road. Yeah, not very much at all, because he said the first time he took that bike off-road, he fell over and he hasn't been off-road since. Yeah, exactly. But he is riding bikes since his 20s, but then he had a long break and now he's actually planning to do um, a trip overseas to France. His first trip uh, out of the UK on a motorbike. Yes, which is really, really awesome. And that we can experience now this road with him together is super cool. Big respect, John, really big respect. After what we just did going into it with all those rocks, and then I sort of stopped just to see if he comes and says, oh, I think that's enough for me, I'm going home. But no, he's like, yep, let's go. He's going for it, man. He's faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like the worst person off road. <laughs> that's all right, we will make it through. And what a place to be riding today. And of course, we've got some sheep in the morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We've got the countryside police. God's sake. Whoa, okay. All good. All good? Yeah. Just what got a little bit tight there. <laughs> yes! Nice! I was a bit worried about that puddle. I didn't know how deep it was. Luckily, it wasn't like muddy or anything. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh yeah, the adventure continues, eh? Are you okay? That's what I was trying to get to do. Yes, okay. Well, you, you climbed like the craziest hill, you know, like bam, 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 bam. And then there's the puddle and you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the hard bit. <laughs> well, I was going to go through the deep puddle and then I thought, no, I'll follow your route. I must have come, yeah, come up here and yeah, then. And then slid the back wheel downhill. Okay. Anyway, we've got three of us to pick up your bike, which is good. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> yeah, perfect. So let's bring it this way a bit. Okay, yeah, further back. Okay. And now we are stuck. <laughs> your front wheel's almost out. And I'm just gonna get your front wheel round. <laughs> okay, now you're in a place where the stand can go down. And also your front wheel's facing a good direction, so should be able to just ride yourself straight out. Yes! Perfect. Perfect. So one for me, one for John then. I'm just waiting on mine. Yeah, John is standing up. Oh my God, I really splashed my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I 
going through the puddle too fast. And I completely splashed myself. We're riding right up on the top of the ridge now. Look at this. We got views to the left, views to the right. But there's one view that I really, really don't like. And that is up ahead in exactly the direction that this road is going. It looks absolutely terrible weather down over there. Oh my goodness. And it's crazy. It's actually still sunny here, but I don't think that's gonna last very long. Unless we're lucky and this storm blows off to the side before we get there, it looks like we are gonna get hit with some serious rain. And we're probably only about halfway through the road. And honestly, with all this rocks and everything, this road could turn into a nightmare. It's like really, really windy. I'm really blown off to the side here. I think we'll just go slow and hope that the storm moves that way by the time we get there. Oh my God, it looks so incredibly bad ahead. So bad. <laughs> Remember in Peru when we got to the top of the hill and just saw this massive storm in front? We've just come over the crest of the pass and look down there in the valley. It looks absolutely terrible weather down there. Terrible. Yeah. And then we had no choice. We were just like, right, that's our direction. We've just got yeah, to exactly. go. And it was just as bad as I imagined as well. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really a bad road. Really bad. <laughs> like it wasn't like, oh, surprise, it's okay. No, it was absolutely terrible, cold and wet. <laughs> Oh, mamma mia. I think John must be our lucky charm because the rain has gone that way and missed us completely. Hooray! Wow, look at that. Yeah, and we have actually one break in the sky here with no clouds and this is directly above us. Honestly, this road couldn't have turned out better. It was challenging at the start, definitely. And that's the point where I thought, <sighs> I don't know if we can actually get through this with John on his big bike. But now we're coming to the end of this road. We have conquered it. Yeah, and John turned out like an off-road pro. <laughs> yeah. We're nearly at the end. We've done it. And I didn't fall off. I didn't fall off. Hey, we're not at the end yet, my love. <laughs> You're going to come and push me over now, aren't you? What a morning, hey? What a morning on the Salterfell Road. Not a bad day in our office. It's exactly what I was hoping for from this road, winding through the moorland. Yeah, what a road it's been. It's not very common here on the TED UK that you have actually an enjoyable, <laughs> not too challenging road. <laughs> Normally you sweat like hell and sometimes cry. <laughs> but this one is pleasant, man. Hi, cows. Epic. Epic! I think this is the other end. We've done it. Nice work. I can't believe that worked out so well. No, there was only that one really difficult bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it must be our lucky charm because the rain just went that way and now with sunshine all the way through you can't really ask for more can you okay it looks like the rain has come but at least it's after we finish the road there's a point of interest coming up on the map which is called which is called the devil's bridge snack bar so we're gonna head over there and hope they've got something undercover where we can stop have a coffee and get out of this rain Oh, it's open. Yes. I asked these guys if we could put a sticker on their window and they said yes. So we're going to put our lovely Lavinoli sticker illustrated by R1 Liz. Thanks so much. I really like it, but I don't know. It's a bit wet. Whether it's actually going to stick. Oh God. No. Um, or is it done? It's done. It's, it's done. done. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> Bad quality stickers, hey? <laughs> you, pay for. you get what you pay for, and we pay the cheapest price possible for those. Those are not the ones we're selling on our Etsy store, by the way, guys. The ones we're selling on our Etsy store are waterproof, they're awesome. Link in description. <laughs> 
please go buy one today and support the channel. But we do have another sticker that's been sent to us that I'm going to put up, which is Fellows Ride. And Fellows Ride is an organisation that organises rides in over 20 cities in Europe and it's all about supporting mental health and aiding in depression causes. Um, so a really cool organisation. There we go. Pride of place for a good cause. Yes. I think Lancashire is just playing with us because now we have sunshine again so we can dry off. Oh. But not only do we have sunshine, but we have cheese and marmite sandwiches courtesy of John. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I haven't had marmite since ages. Mm. Delicious. And the coffee's from the snack bar here. We're only like one pound sixty or something. Mm -hmm. Really good price coffee, guys. That's awesome. You can have a second one, hey? As many as you like. So here next to the snack bar is the bridge that gives the Devil's Bridge snack bar its name. And this bridge is actually one of the finest medieval bridges still in existence in the north of England. It has remained mostly unchanged in its construction since it was built in the 15th century by the monks of St Mary's Abbey in York. And the bridge was built because it's a major connection point over the River Loon and connects the cities of Lancaster and York and Carlisle. So it was a really important crossing point, hence why they went to such an effort to make a massive bridge here because it is a big bridge. Look how high up we are. Hello. I mean, it's a testament to the building skills of these medieval monks because it's still standing today and up until quite recently was even able to handle large trucks and traffic. Pretty amazing, guys. Good job. All right, break time's over. We're going to head back to the trail now. It's time to get into the Yorkshire Dales National Park. So we are coming back to the trail now and we're just passing through the historic Bolton Abbey. Don't know exactly know where the abbey is, I think it's somewhere down there actually. Oh wow, look at this. Whoa! And this abbey was actually built in 1154 by monks, of course, because apparently monks are just the best builders of the medieval time. But unfortunately, Bolton Abbey suffered a similar fate to the abbey we visited in Wales, Tinton Abbey. in that it was destroyed during the dissolution of the monasteries by King Henry VIII. Although I don't think we're actually going to see it from the road here. Oh no, it's there. Hold on a second then. We're just, just going to stop here for a second. Yes, there it is right there. Wow, it's really like Tintern Abbey as well, isn't it? But you know, what is cool is that they at least only destroyed it to the point where it could still be seen as a ruin. Look, they've left quite a lot. And actually I read that there is still a part of the abbey that's enclosed enough that they still do services and stuff. Yeah, so enough of the abbey survived that it's still in use today since 1154. So it's been going for a long time. And even the site that it was built on was actually originally a Saxon church. So it actually was a church even before they built the abbey on top. It's a pretty good location for a church, isn't it? Amazing. So John is going to be heading back to his place now. We're going to be heading up into the Yorkshire Dales. But it's been absolutely awesome. I'm really glad that we all survived that road. <laughs> yes. And honestly, really good going with this bike on that road. You absolutely smashed it. Parts, but you know. I think we all learned something. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. And thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. <laughs> John, we see you! Bye-bye! See you! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! So, back on track. Yeah, it's just us and the Yorkshire Dales up ahead. And it's actually already four o'clock, so time is getting on, but we've got a trail to do, so we've got to press on north. There's apparently really bad weather coming, and we have to ride out of it. <laughs> yeah, 
whilst the weather's good, we've got to keep going. Because once this weather starts turning bad, that's the end of the summer, that's over. Yeah. But at the moment, it's still really nice, really beautiful sunshine. So I'm really excited to go and explore some of this national park. Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> Got a nice little dirt slash cobbled road heading up, 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 up and away into the hills. But honestly, I'm really liking these little farm tracks. Whee! Yeah, it's quite nice actually to just, you know, ride slow, bumble along. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Until you get to another gate. <laughs> After you, madam. Merci beaucoup. So we've come across a little river crossing. Shouldn't be a problem, but I just want to check how deep it is. Oh wow, there's a massive, massive rock there. Well, first I've got to, got to move this tree, but afterwards we've got to take the line on the outside of that rock. Or maybe here. Oh no, that looks deeper. Can't see there. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Got myself a wet boot. <laughs> that is the exactly the opposite foot to the foot that I got wet earlier today. So now I've got both very, very wet boots, soggy socks. Do you want me to take your bike? Sweetheart, I really would do it, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> I will do it for you, don't you worry. Ollie's here to rescue you. Okay, Nali River Crossing, number two. <laughs> oh, okay, that time I put both feet in the water. <laughs> and it was deep. Look, the water came up to about here. And our air intake is here. I think we were nearly under the air intake there. I can just see the steam coming off my engine. Last challenge of the day, hopefully. 15 minutes later. <sighs> oh no, it looks like another river crossing. <sighs> I think it's the same river we just crossed. Oh no. But like crossing back over the other way. Maybe I tried to go this way there. Uh, no, that's over a bridge again. Is it? Let me see. You just want me to get my feet wet, hey, don't you? A bit longer, but it's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Easy as.
I tell you what, you are really impressing me this afternoon, Levy. You're just sending it over every single hill, over all the rocks. Sending it. It's going to be my new catchphrase. Send it. Good job. You are turning into an off-road pro now, really. Still not as pro as me, though. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Whoa. I don't know what they are, partridges maybe? And a partridge on a moor in Yorkshire. So it is 10 past six now, and we are done sending it for the day. We're coming off the moors, and we're coming into a little town called Loft House. And there I've seen on iOverlander what's listed as a large grassy field on the back end of a pub which apparently for a camper van for the night is only 16 pounds so i mean come on for a tent they've got to be two pounds i don't know but one of the finest views in yorkshire it says so we're gonna head there now oh look a bunny rabbit it's just down the hill sort of over there well this is a bit of a hiccup isn't it road closed for 12 days can't be closed for 12 days mm, let me see oh maybe we can get through ah oh. ah oh, yes we can get through we can get through crown hotel middlesmore camping oh it could be that place on the map it shows it to be here i mean there's camping written on the gate let me oh. see okay oh wow Oh yeah, it is the field behind the pub. Oh wow, that looks nice. I mean, it does look nice, but it it does look windy. Let me ride a little bit down, let me see what they've got. Well, I mean, we could go there. You see behind me, there's a little downhill and then there's a little flat. That's a little bit down from the hill there, you see? They said before pitching up, you have to go and talk to them. So it's all paid for, we're ready to go and camp. And uh, just before I left, they gave us two little bits of, I don't know, I think it's gammon. There you go. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. That's tasty. Mm. Good evening, guys. We made it, happy and alive. Yes, we're currently hiding in the tent because it's freezing outside. Oh. So there's a lot of wind blowing over the moors and it's a cold wind as well. I mean, you can tell it's windy because they're flying a kite behind me. It's not too nice out here, so we're kind of settling in to our cozy little tent for the night. I'm just frying up some bread at the moment. With a mountain of cheese to go with it. Yes. Followed by some noodle packs. Should be a good camping dinner for us. But it was a really spectacular day today. Like the landscapes are just mind blowing. I'm super, super impressed. Yeah, we've still got a lot more of the Yorkshire Dales National Park to go. So it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. Comment below and we will see you next time.